Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to keep the mind with the breath. Make the breath as comfortable as you can. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what kind of breathing the mind likes to stay with. And see if you can keep the mind there. If it wants to wander off, you say, nope. We made up your mind, we're going to stay right here. The problem is the mind is like a committee. It has lots of different opinions. And as soon as your mindfulness slips or your alertness slips, other members of the committee take over. So what you're trying to do here is strengthen your mindfulness and strengthen your alertness, your ability to keep something in mind and to watch what you're doing. And that's how you can get some control over your mind. Because the mind without control over itself can create a lot of trouble. Especially as we go through life, aging comes, illness comes, death comes, separation comes. And when these things happen, our minds can think about all kinds of things that make the problem worse. As the Buddha said, you get shot by one arrow, it's, not, it's bad enough, but then you shoot yourself with more arrows. And so to prevent the mind from shooting itself with arrows like that, you learn, have to learn how to get it under your control. So that you, it thinks when you want it to think and will not think when you don't want it to think. And so we develop that ability by working on this very simple exercise, staying with the breath and bringing the mind back every time you realize it's wandered away. And as time passes, you'll find that you come back more and more quickly and you can catch yourself more and more quickly to the point where you can even tell when the mind is about to go and you can put a stop to it. And then the mind becomes a mind you can trust. And the Buddha says that the self is its own mainstay. Well, it becomes its own mainstay only when you train it well enough so that it does what you want it to do. And you have a good sense of what the mind should and should not be thinking. That way, when things come up in life, you don't have to suffer from them. There's just the one arrow, not all the other arrows. And that one arrow is can be removed, but the other arrows, once you've st stuck them in, you can imagine a person shot with lots of arrows. It's like pickup sticks, trying to pick one out and get the next one, get the next one. It can be very complicated. So learn how not to shoot yourself with arrows, and you find that the mind feels a lot lighter. And it can go through life without it, with suffering from the ups and downs of life, because you've got it under your control.